Hey, uh, Bill was bringing up a good point in the office before the show. We wrote it down, too. Speed 2. Now, I thought Speed 2 was a good movie. Ugh. Never saw it, but I thought it did well. I thought the reviewers liked it. No, no, It was no. believable. No, it was just a... It was a, it was a bomb. It was a bomb? I actually From caught, the get-go? Yeah, I was on the tour bus Ooh. on the uh, monster comedy event there. I'm really whoring myself out today. I'm really you fucking, certainly are. I really am. You That's know, I give fine. a shit. You wearing your cape, my friend. Um... They like the. I just saw the end of that movie. Like literally, the boat was heading like towards the island. What was the premise? The whole premise is just like like the first one. We Except I guess it's a boat instead yeah, of a bus. You know, you had to keep the bus going like over sixty miles an hour. Yeah. I guess you had to keep the boat going at, at such and such knots. Knots. But why wouldn't they just no. jump in the water? Knots. I'm sure they uh, figured that out. You can you can handle it. Middle of the ocean, hypothermia. Oh yeah, what? Why wouldn't they just jump in the uh, the water? You can't jump off a bus, but you could jump off a boat. Is it w was it the um, passenger boat? Well, it's like one of those big cruise ships. I mean, a cruise just, ship. Just you like can't jumping. get everybody jumping off a cruise ship. Why not? And then what about they start lowering the lifeboats and they probably blow it up? Like they said, if you everybody anybody tries to get off of the bus, they were going to blow it up, even if it's doing you know. Plus, uh, that's okay. like jumping off a brownstone. I mean, those things are way up there. Oh, they're huge. <laughs> Hitting the water like. Uh, <laughs> Some cement. Can't do that. Well, Commuter K came in. What is that location check for Milo? Let's see if it's a location check. Beep, 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 beep. No. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. <coughs> bye bye. Sell. Sell. All right. <clears throat> anyway, Speed Two. Yeah. So you saw the end of the movie. Yeah, it's like the very end of the movie. So I, you know, they're literally heading towards the island. So I figured I got this. Must be the last six minutes. Before somehow Sandra saves the day, it was right. forty-five minutes of the most horrific, <laughs> just filmmaking ever fucking made. First of all, they come flying in and they're going right at like an oil tanker, and somehow, uh, 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 who, who's the lead in that? Oh, um, oh no, 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 nah, the, the O'Donnell, Chris O'Donnell, is it? Or no, Chris? Uh, no, no, William Defoe, the guy from Sleepers. Now, this whole fucking thing is unraveling. Do you see? God knew, damn it. Wait, 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 wait. No. Uh... I don't know who they are. Wait, here comes Jason Patrick. Right? Yeah, Jason, Jason Patrick. Oh, that guy. I was distracted because I went to Rotten Tomatoes. Go back again. Just to regroup here. It got a 4% rating. 96% of the reviewers across America hated Speed 2. Hmm. And one of the reviewers says, if Speed 2 and, let's say, Kissed... A dark comedy about a woman necro necrophile were the very last two movies at the video store. I would pick Kissed. Ooh. It got horrendous reviews. But anyway, yes. so it's Jason Patrick. So you figure it's like the end of the movie. Like, you can see the island. Turns out they're heading right towards an oil tanker. And, and I don't know, they, they go underneath and somehow they turn the, uh, the, the things that steer the, the rudder. Boat, the rudders. rudders, yeah. And they basically sideswipe. The oil tanker, like it's a fucking parked car, <laughs> sticking all these holes in the side of it. So now you're thinking, okay, everybody's like, everyone has this big, hey, we made it, we the made big it. hug. And then one extra, worst extras ever, like, you know, looking off into the horizon just goes, oh, shit. And then they cut to somebody else. Wait, oh, that wasn't the end of the shit. movie? No, it's not. The, it keeps going. Oh, the I thought that oh, be... shit take. Yes. But that would have been a great oh. end of the movie. No. Nah. Oh. The no, oh, this is speed takes. too, man. You got to make it bigger. But that right. Looked, that looked pretty intense, and they just got out of danger. The oil rig, obviously, Dude, remember exploded. speed when they stopped the bus and everyone was fine? It wasn't the end of the movie. That's true. Jason keeps getting up. It's the same right. shit. Now they're heading towards the fucking island. And hey, we know God. that because the extra is with the oh shit. The oh shit Oh, yeah. Take. Oh, shit. And they're, they're blowing the horn. That is worse than the buddy movie through the windshield whoa take yes where they're both heading towards something where they jump over something yeah and, and you and, hug each other yeah yeah whoa Ugh. horrendous then they start going towards I mean dude and then the side swiping of the oil tanker was at least fucking 10 minutes to finally get up to there <laughs> so I'm thinking it was such a build up you thought it was the end of the movie now they're heading towards the fucking island Still going 15 minutes people clutching on water's filling up because they side swiped an oil tanker ah Plows into the beach, doesn't stop, keeps going. So the boat now is going through an it's island. It's slicing this an town. island in half. It's going up a street, and the extras, you know, the stuntmen are doing the, uh, you know, get out of the way, get in the way, get out of the way, <laughs> fucking jump out of the way. There's like 50 of those fucking shots. People drinking like espressos, and ooh, it's a boat jumping out of the way of their tables. I love how it's through. the big burly guys all the time because they got to use the stuntmen whenever yeah. they're doing this thing. Like, like uh, uh, my favorite has always been the car busting through the gate take. And there's just some guy 
hanging out in front of the gate for some reason. And at the last minute, he jumps out of the way. And it's always this big, burly, stuntman-looking guy. <laughs> and you bring up a great point. They always look like they're ready to get out of the way. Like yeah. They never look completely relaxed, whether they're sitting down at a table drinking tea. Yeah, whenever they're sitting at a the table, they're leaned on their forearm, ready to jump up. Because yeah. they know the fucking car's coming. Ready to they're spray leaning, to action. Their, their legs are, are like uh, they're at the starting line of a race. They're all set up like ready <laughs> they're to sweating. But they're sweating. Like, it's like the third take. They yeah. got nicked yeah. by the bumper on the last one. But they're still drinking their cappuccino. Right, right. <laughs> just drinking and then, whoa, out of the way. <laughs> all right, oh, so, so it just keeps plowing through this well, fucking island. I want to go with this now. Now, I'm gotta, trying to make this quicker than the no, end of the movie because no, it's, it's you got to think the island is going to slow the boat down, and now it's got to blow up. No, it took at least like 20 blocks. No, it doesn't blow up. It doesn't even tip over. No, but it, it just stays, stays there. It stays but totally it, upright. Goes right up the street. Plows but how through is some it houses. keeping the speed going if it's uh, if it's cutting through an island? It's the magic of Hollywood, Opie. All right, it just keeps going. All right, finally comes to a stop. You're thinking this is the fucking end. Yeah, finally, yeah. No. Roll, roll the credits. But you know what I forgot? Sandra Bullock is on dual connected jet skis with Willem Dafoe, who plays the bad guy. Now Jason Patrick has to go rescue this bitch. Of course. Jumps off down a house as everyone's looking like, what the fuck, you know? He gets, he somehow commandeers a, a speedboat from the black dude from uh, that uh, stripper movie that bombed. I'm oh, so bad with, right, right. Uh, uh, Showgirls. Showgirls. Okay. The guy with the dreadlocks, right? I think he gets stabbed in Oz or something, right? So he jumps on that thing. Willem Dafoe is now in a fucking plane. This is like 35 minutes into the end of the movie. He's now in a plane with Sandra Bullock going to take off. So he's got to be going at least 80 miles an hour. Yeah. They're cruising in a boat. Jason Patrick, whatever the fuck his name is, takes like a harpoon, shoots the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Where okay. did he get the harpoon from? I don't know. He's he just having to have it on the jet ski. He shoots the plane, right? It goes into the side of it. He holds on, then... Plus, it hits a button for some sort of automatic reel-in mechanism. What is this used for, aside from rescuing people from a plane from a jet ski? I have no idea. So now he just holds onto the gun, and he's now in the water, skimming across the water, dragging behind a fucking plane that's taking off. He's not losing his grip. He's definitely squinting his eyes a little. <laughs> and he comes up. He finally gets up onto the plane, right? Yeah. Stands on the side of it, says, hey, what's up, sweetie, to Sandra, and then does the the hacky... Punch the womb, the foe. Right. Grabs her. They jump off. So part of the plane, like, you know, the the, the, the plane the floats on. The pontoons. Yeah. They, it breaks off. On. They have them straddled. His nuts are fully exposed. He <laughs> drops like 90 feet right into the water. Perfect totally plan. fine. They're Perfect fine. Plan. And yeah. they just go along like a little friendly torpedo. <laughs> now Willem Dafoe's like, fuck, he lost the money, he lost the girl, he looks up, it's the fucking oil tanker again. Ah, uh, remember from hitting it, how long yeah. ago was that in the movie? At least 45 minutes. <laughs> now, at this point, you're like, please, hit the fucking oil tanker and end it. No, he pulls back on the stick, is he gonna hit it? No, he uh -oh. just goes straight up, straight up, and then he's smiling. Oh, good, made I, it. I made it, I made it. Turns around, there's like some sort of weather vane or some shit on the boat. He just fucking comes to a dead stop, like impales the plane right on, on this thing, thing and passes out. Now they got to the fucking the chick and the dude. They're hugging. You think it's over. Willem Dafoe wakes up. It's still not it's over. It's still going. Looks down. There's gas dripping. Finally, his fucking mercilessly, his fucking his plane blows up and then sets off a bunch of explosions in the, On whole the oil, oil tanker. tanker. It's at least. It's. I swear to God, it has to be at least forty minutes. You know, I've never seen the end of that movie. I've seen the boat hit the island, and and then I changed the channel because I could swear that was the end of the movie. It's and, and you you watch the whole thing in, in dead silence, just like it's. <laughs> I was going Horrible. on next, and they're like, "You're on next." I'm like, I, I have to see the end of this. <laughs> These action so movies bad. at times are so exhausting because it's one stunt after another, after another, after another, and and you're like, "When? Yeah, exactly. When does this end?" So I could go. Well, fortunately, with Speed too, the character development was so you it know, was brilliant, tremendous right? that I cared about everybody in it. Let's say hi to Joe in Jersey. Joe, Bill Burr. Yes. I want to call you an a-hole right now for ruining Speed 2 for me. I'm going to watch that tonight. <laughs> you ruined the ending. You ruined oh. it. I thought he was going to give me shit for how long it took to tell the end of that fucking story. <laughs> Let's go to Tyler. He's saying we're forgetting something. Tyler? Yeah, hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Um, you forgot the final ending. What's that? Um, they're on the pontoon, and they're cruising towards the oil tanker, and the thing starts to explode, so Sandra rolls off and starts to drown because she's all bound up. It's and still not over? Oh, I forgot that. Oh, my God, it's Wait, not it over. Wait, it didn't end with the oil tanker exploding? That's He's right. 
Sanders and, starts to drown, and uh, Jason Patrick has to dive in and do the buddy breathe thing because she's down with chains. Oh, so he's like kissing her, yes, yeah. and breathing into her mouth. And and how did he get the chains off of her? Uh, he just slammed her to the top, I, I guess. And the black dude in the boat picked her up. Ah, holy crap! Whew. And then it was over. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, but they had the, they had the jewels, so everything was okay. Uh huh. Oh, so and bad. Then, and then he asked her to marry her. Is that awful? All right. Oh, oh and then see when they were chasing the plane. Uh, the black dude and his girlfriend just had, the, like, the worst, hackiest lines. Like, he was all scared, and she was laughing like this was all fun. Really? Chasing this terrorist with this woman held hostage. Yeah, nothing beats the um, throw-in-the-funny line when you would absolutely be petrified for your life. That yeah. whole thing. That was a big 80s thing, too. All right. We're going to step aside and take a little break. Hello, everyone. This is Danny in for Bill Burr. Bill would love to deliver this message to you, but he's out in L.A. being a gigantic superstar. So, for Bill's upcoming show dates, podcasts, and CDs, go to BillBurr.com or check him out on MySpace at MySpace.com slash BillBurr. Obie and Anthony.